record on the computer. All right, recording. Hey, Joseph, how are you? I'm good, Desiree. How are you doing? I am good. I'm good. I wanted I to ask, ask you some questions yeah. about um, the North Star. My I've coaching seen, program. Yeah, yeah, your coaching program. I've seen um, on your website that you're starting to offer that as a service. And um, a first question I want to ask you about it is, how did you come up with that as a description for your consulting service? How did you come up with the North Star? Well, you know, if the ancient mariners, all they really had to sail by was the North Star. And depending on where they were, if they could focus on the North Star, they would know that whether they were on course. If they couldn't see the North Star, they were in trouble. Uh, you know, it was, a, it was a guiding system for the ancient mariners. Oh, I see. And so if you're focused on your North Star, your true North Star, mm -hmm. that one that talks to your soul at a cellular level, mm -hmm. then you can't, you can't uh, miss port. I see. I see what you're saying. You can't really go wrong because you're actually focused on what's unique to you. God is trying to tell you something, as they say. I love it. In the, I love it. In the color purple. I love it. I that. love it. Yeah. yeah. So how do you um, delve into someone's need in regard to searching for the North Star? So, for example, if, if I came to you and I told you that I needed assistance in uh, finding that particular um, solution to my business needs, Right. Well, the first thing I do is we spend a lot of time in looking into your core values. Mm -hmm. if, you're core, if you're grounded in your core values, which will or will not change over time, they might change slightly. I noticed mine changed a little bit this year when I did it for myself. But <clears throat> if you are grounded in your core values, then that's going to be your North Star. And it's going to give you an opportunity to look around you, the people that you hang out with, the people you work with, the clients that you attract. Are you on the right track? Maybe, you know, I've had people actually decide to leave their business. Wow. Because they weren't happy. <clears throat> so you're saying that it's, uh, uh, the people that you hang out with can actually influence your decision process. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They may not be... They may not, may not be there, and here again, it may be psychological, but it's also, they may not be there for the intention of your best good mm -hmm. at the cost of their own. Right, right. I don't know I if you remember, we did a class where I used this tool one time, and somebody actually discovered that her core values and her, the company she worked for did not match. Correct. So she used it as an opportunity to either make, she can use it as an opportunity to leave the company or affect change at work. Mm -hmm. And I think she chose to go and have a conversation with her boss and making a difference at work. Correct. You know, right. right. We, we all seem to want to do something that one way or another is painful and not serving our best and highest good. Right. So, the North Star can be a, a place where you can feel really uncomfortable and uh, feel as if you're leaving your sense of complacency also, because being complacent, um, it can pull you out of that and put you in a place that's uncomfortable when being uncomfortable can actually make you more comfortable because you're getting into a place that is more authentic. Right. And, you know, it's also, it is and it isn't about the numbers. Numbers are a great indicator and barometers and bars to be set to determine if you're headed in the right direction or what you need to ramp up. It, but there's so much more to your life than just a bunch of numbers. Correct. You can plug in algorithms to a computer. You can uh, program a robot to do that stuff. But are you happy at the end of the day? Right. You know, are right. you doing what's in the best interest of you and your family? Right. That's, that's very true. Today I was sharing with someone that I found that that word no actually can mean yes, depending mm. on how you use it. Yep. You know, 
So, you know, finding your North Star it takes on many, many levels of truth. Right. So you're and, right. You know, I was working with somebody a couple of weeks ago, and uh, part of the exercise, too, is to, you know, put out a calendar in front of them for them to work on a project for not just January to December, but for the 12 month period that we're starting to work in. And uh, the first question I asked people, I said, what's the big thing you want to do? And she said, what? I said, what's the one thing you've always wanted to do? Hmm. And she started crying. And it was like, it was a trip to a special place that she's always wanted to go to. I said, well, put it on the calendar. Right. And then go back six months or nine months from here and let's chart out what it's going to take to actually create that happening for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, is that all it takes? I said, yeah, it's not a pie in the sky dream that you have anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. And whether you, whether you actually go on that trip, it doesn't matter. It's that you, you pursued and took the steps to get on that, get on that plane or that boat, whatever. You know, it's like when we talk to you, when you talk about wanting to travel, how many months a year? Six. Six months. Continuously. I got it. it and you know what? That's going to take some doing. Yes, it is. You can't just right. say, you know, because you've been, I've been hearing you talk about this for how long? Oh, years. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So yeah. that's all. And it's, and I, and I've talked to a couple of people who've called me about the program and everything. And they're like, are you a therapist? No, I'm not a therapist. Well, are you a business coach? Yes, I am. But we need to discuss what business you want to be in before I can coach you on it. Right. There, there's a journey that one needs to take. And it's usually t takes about four hours to actually establish what that's going to be. Correct. That makes a lot of sense. And I love watching you work. I love the way you transform people's thinking. Because it's not, it's not, like you said, it's not about the numbers. The numbers come later. Yeah. Um, sometimes it doesn't even come right away. Sometimes you don't even have to focus on the numbers at all because they, they actually transform on their own. Right. You know? So, so thank you for that. That makes, uh, that, that really helps me to understand more about what the North Star means. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it's, it. Everybody, the, the, you, President Barack, Barack Obama talked about the North Star and, you know, if you're focused on your North Star, you'll be true to yourself and you won't right. be lost. Right. You're not alone. And this, the wonderful thing about the North Star, it's fixed. It doesn't move in the heavens. Ah. The stars move around it. But it's a great navigational tool. I like that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the, what I do is we spend four hours in our initial consultation, and then we follow up in 30 days. Oh. And then from there, in 90 days, we have another consultation. They're not four hours long, but we get to check up on the progress and see what's going so on. So you give them action items to do between the time periods also, right? I, I coach them into giving themselves action items. I see. Okay. I'm not the one on their journey. Yes, I understand that. They're, right. they're the ones on their journey. Right. Like, right. And, you know, when the time comes, only one person's going to lay in that box, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to jump in there with you or take that journey for you. And right. I'd love to watch people just open up and blossom and, and see, they actually get to see where they're stuck. Mm hmm. Uh, somebody couldn't get, go through, couldn't get past six months in, in scheduling. And it was like all the reasons why were based in the past. Correct. I see. So all he's got to do is let, let go of the past and create a possibility that in spite of what's going on in his world, he can achieve incredible things. Right. He's so talented, so gifted. And vibrant young man that there's no reason why he can't have what he wants but he's he's too grounded in the it, he's a, a lot of fear based in the past i see yeah okay so, yeah so uh, it's you know it's kind of interesting it's not just for a realtor it no be, it's for it, anyone it's, yeah it's for all verticals it's like if somebody wants to start a new business or they're 
they're in a business, but they want to make a shift with it or they want to incorporate something else into it. It's a great roadmap for discovery. Got it. My long -term Everybody has a North Star. Just have yeah, to. Everybody has a North Star. Yeah. What it's that right is. there and it doesn't move. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Very helpful. I, I wanted to get this out there because so many people think it's that structured. Well, it's structured, but it's structured on a unique basis for each person. Because it's divinely ordained. Correct. Yeah. It's structured for that unique person. No two people are the same. Exactly. So you can't, not, everybody doesn't have the same path. You know? Well, you know, it's interesting because I did this with a group of realtors. And when we looked at the core values of everybody in the group, there was one individual that didn't match any one core value. Oh, wow. Guess who left the team? Oh, oh wow. Okay. You know, so when I'm working with groups, you know, a company might hire me to come in and do this course with them. And it, I stop and I put everybody's core values on the board and we look at it and we look to see how many core values people share in common. Mm -hmm. well, there was one individual who didn't share any core values with the group. I see. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And it's no and there's nothing bad, bad about that. It's just a matter of coming to that realization. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. and the, the truth hurts sometimes mm -hmm. it's not the easiest thing to do mm -hmm. god only knows i've been <laughs> through enough experiences in my life to know that it all comes around it all ends up where it's supposed to be correct yeah you know so that's the gift that i get to offer to people i'm really excited about moving forward in that direction yeah that's excellent well thank you you've been thank influential you. for me too so well, you're, but you're also in, you're also into coaching and um, it's like, we're not in competition. It's no. just that uh, we'd have two different verticals that we work from mm -hmm. to get people to the same place. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Your, your way, your deliverable is so, so amazing. This, the way in which you deliver it is so, so amazing. And I've always admired it. Um, it's a, it's a good thing that we are, you know, we have that, that way of meshing this the two together right. um, is, is is it's very unique, very yeah. special. So I appreciate it's or, you. It's ordained. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. Appreciate You're it. Thank you. All right, my dear. Be blessed. All right.